five screws need to be removed. First one here, 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 and one up here. After those are taken out, then I can remove the back panel. These are the screws that came out of the back panel. And if you notice, this screw right here is a little machine screw that goes in the center. Yeah. <clears throat> now the back panel can be removed. Also, the two sides can be removed. I've turned the printer around and that allows these panels right here to be removed. You just kind of lift them up and pop them off like that. That allows you to remove these two cables, CN1, CN2, and you just pull them out like that. And bend them out of the way. This now allows you to unscrew six more screws. One here, one up here, one down here, and the same for the other side, so six screws. Two types of screws came out. These larger screws, these two right here, they go right here, and then one on the other side. The other ones go here, what was it, here, and here. There's one more screw that has to come out, and it's located right here for the switch. This little piece will come loose, and uh, it will be required in order when you go to remove the front panel off. The front panel should now be able to be removed. It does have some wiring behind it, so you have to be careful. And there's two little catches down here and two little catches down here that will require you to use a screwdriver to bring get loose. Bring this down. allows this to come down and here's the wire that has to be taken out this is where the switch plugs in and this should just pull out sometimes it's a little hard to get it out if I can keep it in camera and do it at the same time There it is. So it comes right out. <clears throat> that allows you to remove the whole panel. Now the whole panel can be pulled off and just lift it off. There's a lot of uh, delicate electronics around in here, so this gets, should get stored separately. Before the rest of the panel can be lifted away, there's two more screws to come out. One here and one on the other side here. These screws are the same as the, the other large ones that I took out previously. Now the rest of this pan panel should lift away the top pan. <clears throat> Just lifts up. <clears throat> 
This does allow access now to the print head. There's one screw to take out right here, and then this lid will move away. This is the screw that came out of the print head lid. It is a machine screw. Okay, this is, the screw's been removed. This should come up, and it does have a catch on this side, so it may have to be popped out a little bit. There it is. And then that lifts away, and it exposes the top of the print head area. There's four screws that have to come out here, here, and here. I'm sorry, three screws. And then also this ribbon cable and this ribbon cable behind it have to be, come, have to be pulled loose. And then these two little clips right here have to also be pulled out. That will free up then access to this device here. I've removed all the screws, I've removed these two clips out, and I've also pulled these ribbon cables out. Now this lifts away, but the problem is there is a piece of plastic along here that is attached to it, so it only lifts out so far. Now the best way to pull this back is a, this clip right here holds part of this plastic in here. You just have to remove it out of this clip and that'll give you more access. Okay, it's out of there. Oh. Okay, and that just lifts out. Okay, this device has two screws that have to be removed. If I can do this in camera. One is oops, right here, and the other one is uh, down in here. Okay, those get removed, and then this piece will lift away. Once those screws are out, this whole section lifts away and it does plug down into some uh, pipe-like things that where the ink flows. So you got to lift it out and then once you've got it out, it just lifts right out. Hopefully. Yep. And this is where it pops off. This is the top of the print head, and there's three screws. One here, one here, and one back here. Those had to be removed. The screws from the print head are smaller and may require a different size Phillips, but as you can see, if I can get a bit in focus, it's a smaller head pan on it, and uh, you might be able to use a single regular Phillips, but uh, I had to use a smaller blade Phillips. Okay, with the screws removed, this should now lift out, and there is, as I said, there's some electronics attached to it, so you have to be careful lifting it out. And the print head is on the bottom of it, so you have to be really careful. This is your print head, the shiny. Okay, these two ribbon cables have to be pulled out. The one on the bottom closest to the print head is CN1, and they just slide out. And the other one, if you look on the other side, is CN2. And that pops up, and that frees up the print head. Now, using only distilled water, I'm going to flush these out, mainly the yellow one, because that seems to be where I'm having problems. And i got to make sure i got yellow here. And you need something like this, a plunger with a piece of tubing on the end of it. And you just slide that down on there. 
And if you watch carefully on the printhead side, if I can get it in camera, let me rearrange things here a little bit. I don't want to. spray this everywhere let's see I'm gonna to attempt to do this in camera and what I'm going to do is squirt distilled water through and it should come out to the print head you can see it coming out there and I can see the spray and it looks like it's pretty clean you want to get clear water coming out, and that's what it looks like we have now, for the most part. And then I would recommend a paper towel to mop up a little bit lightly on the printhead. All right, now I'm going to do a second one. This will be, I believe, blue. Not sure which cyan it is, but we'll see. And it's coming out clean now. And then we remove it from here. And I can go to another color here. 